Hey, 36 Fanatics, Steven here. Today I'm gonna show y'all a quick and easy way to diagnose a fuel pressure issue for a non-starting car. This car is a BMW 1994 318iS. Got in the itch again to buy junk cars and play around with them. I got this for like 350 bucks. It wasn't running at the time, but it was cranking. So the issue was the car would crank, but it wouldn't start. So I kind of guessed that it was a fuel related issue, but the way, way we determined for, for about certain that it was a fuel related issue is that when I was cranking the car up, I had somebody else shoot starting fluid into the intake boot right here. And uh, at that point, the car was able to actually start for a few seconds, and then, of course, it choked out. Now, 90% of the time when that happens and you can start a car with starter fluid and that dies immediately, it's going to be a fuel-related issue. You're not getting fuel to the car. The first and most obvious thing to do is to check if you've got uh, fuel. Check your autometer and make sure that you've got fuel there. If it says you got fuel and your sending unit, you haven't noticed any issues with your sending unit, then it's probably something else to deal with either the fuel pump or electronic. Next thing to do is to come over here to your hood and hop to your uh, fuse box. The fuel pump has two different things associated with it in the fuse box. It has a 15 amp fuse, which is number 18 on this vehicle and I believe that's universal. It's gonna be number 18 on any E36. It's a little 15 amper. Now on this one, all you gotta do is take a look at it and I already pulled it and it looks just fine. So that wasn't the issue. So the next thing to check is to check your relays. Now the relay for the fuel pump on all BMW E36s is gonna be this one right here. Now a quick note to remember on some of the older ones, like 94, 95, and uh, 93s, the fuel pump relay, the original one, is going to be a four-prong relay. Uh, this is it actually right here. Um, on the newer ones, like 96 plus, it's going to actually be a five-prong. And if you, it turns out that the relay is bad, at the auto parts store, they're only going to have the five-prong relay. However, I went ahead and bought the five prong relay and it's work it works just fine so you can actually switch out the four prong with the five prong in these vehicles because uh, they do not sell the four prong you're gonna want to go ahead and check your fuel pump relay next which is this one right here just pop it right out okay so here's the old one and this actually ended up being my issue for the fuel pump and as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty caked. Um, it looks pretty baked. So I got the new one at O'Reilly's. It was like 22 bucks, I think. So it wasn't too bad. And I switched it out with this five prong relay. Now, say your relay looks good though, and there's no issue with the relay. It looks just fine. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is pull out your back seat. Now this is the same on any E36. This back seat actually, um, underneath it is your fuel pump and your sending unit. These vehicles have two sending units, one on the fuel pump and one on the other side. Uh, on this vehicle, the fuel pump is on the passenger side, right underneath here. Now, once you're over here, you're gonna wanna take a look at your fuel pump. This is the fuel pump for this vehicle. You'll be able to tell once you pop off this little cap right here. It's got three screws or four Phillips head screws that hold it in. And the fuel pump is going to have two connectors going to it. One's for the sending unit, one's for the fuel pump. Then you got two hoses and you have a uh, lock ring. Apparently BMW has some special tool for that lock ring to remove it, but I, you can just use a hammer and a screwdriver and be careful with it and you can get it out just like that. So if all your electrical components are working, like the pump or the, uh, the relay and the fuse, then more than likely you have a fuel pump issue. Now before you change, before you go into the fuel pump, here's a way to test if your fuel pump's working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and start the car and if the fuel pump's working then you're going to be able to, since the sound deadening, the 
sound material is removed, you're going to be able to hear this fuel pump, whether the car is running or not, uh, picking up the gasoline and moving it around. So I'm going to set this phone here and I'm going to start the car. Now, after hearing the gasoline uh, gasoline in the tank moving around, that tells me that the fuel pump's doing its job and picking up the gas and sending it down and pressurizing the system. So that tells me that it wasn't the fuel pump. Another thing to do if your fuel pump ends up being the issue, and if it wasn't, if your fuel pump wasn't doing that when you're trying to start the car, then it's more than likely you need a new fuel pump. So the other thing to do though, if you are gonna change your fuel pump, is to go ahead and change the filter as well. The fuel filter is very, very cheap. It's like 10, 15 bucks. And if your fuel pump's gone and you've never changed your filter, it's a good idea to go ahead and change your filter as well. Um, it is located underneath the car and it's very easy to get to.